Hey guys, I am going to do a cover today of this Agile, well not really a cover, but a review. Why the hell did I say cover? I do not know, but anyway. So, today we're going to cover this bad boy, review it, I said cover again. Check that, you can take that one to the bank, buddy. But This is the Agile AL 3100 series, the Ocean Burst. Um, this guitar... Pretty damn good, I'll be honest with you. I've owned a few Epiphone Les Paul customs, whatnot. Um, they, they, personally to me, they kill the Epiphone Les Paul custom. The only thing you don't get with this guitar that the Epiphone Les Paul custom has is the back bond. You know, it's a beautiful thing, it's a great thing to have, but how much do you play in this good? Damn, that thing's pretty, because I don't. So, anyway, with this guitar, I think it's like 24 and 3 quarter inch scale, I'm pretty sure. Um, 22 frets, ebony fretboard, Grover tuners, Seymour Duncan design pickups, uh, which I will be taking out. I'm probably going to put the Seymour Duncan winner pickups in here. The Grover tuners, like I said, really, really good. It's made in South Korea. You know, you can, you can get an Agile AL2000 series, the 2500 for like under $300. And when you get the 3010 series, over $300. The 3100 is like $400. And then the 3200. They, got, they go up to the 3200, they're, they're just different things. They also got them in baritone, you can buy them with the EMGs, whatnot. Be all kinds of colorways. But I decided to go with the Ocean Burst colorway because I seen it and I was like, oh my god, I gotta have that, you know? So with this guitar, as soon as I seen it, personally, the, the things that got me, like picture wise, it, in person, these things are a lot better than the pictures over at Rondo Music. These things are gorgeous. Um, I mean, honestly, like, this right here, to me, I think Paul Reed Smith has, like, the best finishes on a guitar, and this is pretty close to a Paul Reed Smith finish, no joke. Um, Ebony fretboard, great, I mean, I cleaned, the first time I cleaned it, I got a few stains and whatnot on here, and a little bit of the ebony came off, but that's any guitar, you know, they make all kinds of shit, so, I, I personally would check them out. I figured I would do a review of this guitar, I haven't posted a video in a while, and I wanted to put something a little different. And a lot of people, before they go and buy stuff, they'll look up videos like, oh, I want to see what this thing looks like in person. So, if this is not the colorway you want, you know, I'm sure someone has posted one. But if this is the colorway, I recommend it. I highly recommend it. So, now I'm going to show you a few things about this guitar. Sorry, like, I kind of just jumped in and talked so much shit. But anyway, I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to show you, like, the metal channel with the bridge pickup. So, oh, that's a good Right there, like I said, I will be changing these pickups out. That's the only flaw to me. But if you buy this guitar and you play like maybe like 70s rock, 80s rock, stuff like that, grind, these pickups may fit your desired need of sound. To me, you know, they're, they're great. I mean, they still do everything, but they're not what I personally would play. So, you know, um, like the pots in these guitars, really clean, really, you know, like this is a lot better guitar than that. So, highly recommend it. You know, I keep saying that, but I can't stress it enough. But I'm gonna use the neck position this time. Just play like a few like leads and just make some shit up leads. <laughs> and Quinn. 
like it's it's honestly to me this the bridge pickup is a little of course it's a lot more has a lot more gain to it but it sounds more like a neck pickup like a Seymour Duncan 59 or something in that manner but, fear when I got it was my tone knobs were going to be cheap. I was like, oh man, you know, I mean, when you're ordering a guitar for four, fifty, five hundred bucks, you know, you're like, oh shit, man, I know there's going to be, that's any guitar you get. You can buy a Gibson or, you know, Paul Reed Smith, anything, thousand dollars, and there's going to be things you do not like about that guitar, I mean, eventually. So the only things, you know, but actually what I'm trying to say is that they're actually pretty good, you know, like my tone knobs and whatnot. I wanted to go black on it, but I, I honestly just want to keep it original. Um, had it broke, well, I've had it a few months now, I haven't broken string on it. I, I pick really hard. I mean, when I pick, it's pretty hard. I pick pretty hard. And I, I mean, it's came, the action came great. I mean, for the things that I play, I mean, it's all in all a great guitar. And I highly, highly recommend this guitar. I really do. So, you know, if you're, if you're interested in it, um, if you have any questions, message me. I mean, you can go over to Rondo Music. I just mainly wanted to just show you guys the sound of this beast, and I, and I kept my channels as simple as possible. So, and I mean, also one thing about this guitar that I will say is it's it's weight exactly right. Like on my, you know, being a cheaper guitar, a lot of people think you know when they buy a guitar, this is random as hell. But when they when you buy a strap, I don't know if you can actually see me standing up. But when you buy a strap and everything, you know, oh, I wonder if it's going to dip or nothing. I mean, this guitar is weighed perfectly. It's around, I'd say it's around 10 pounds. So, I mean, it's all in all a great guitar. And, you know, sorry I couldn't cover too, too much. Like I said, it's just mainly a review video. And I would recommend this guitar. I'm going to do a close-up real quick. My lighting in here sucks. But I will show you guys. If you are interested in the Ocean Burst or any other finishes, what they actually look like. So, here we guys go. You know, of course, it can't be exactly like a Gibson. I mean, the cutaway is a little different. Um, let me see if you guys can see that. You know, like I said, set neck, whatnot. The, I mean, you could, the natural wood on this thing is gorgeous. Grover tuners. Um, I love the headstock on this. Like, honestly, if I can get endorsed by a company, Agile would be the one for me. Just because, I mean, they're beautiful, they play great, they weigh, they got a great, I mean, they're pretty heavy guitars, and all in all, I would just love to have one with my name on it, but that probably will never happen. But anyway, guys, go pick you up an Agile if you're interested. Don't think twice about it. <laughs>